Yo! Hey everyone, it's Fryer again. Back with another video. YouTube's yelling at me. Seeing that I need to make more content. They kicked me out of the partnership program. So, here we are. Another bourbon review. This is Driftless Glen. Uh, taste the American Spirit. So, this is another store pick by the uh, Southwest Michigan Bourbon Hunters Club. Oops, out of focus there. And uh, by Hoffman's store. So, Driftless Glen. So, get back in focus. Get back in focus. Ah! Check that out. Nice little, like, cool, like, thumbprint style bottle. Darker color. Let's see if you can read this. So, yeah, this is a single barrel straight bourbon. And uh, it says, uh, from barrel to bottle, the single barrel selection is presented at cask strength uh, with minimal filtration. Subtle notes of clove and cinnamon join our bourbon's characteristic sweetness in this one-of-a-kind bottle. So let's do this again. Little uh, store pick art on the side. Try to get sued for that. Oh, you see little cherries on there, so you know what's coming. You know what's coming. So, ready to pour a little, little nip. So, let's take a, take a little swig. Oh, it's, it's coming right out. Pour it a little heavy. Went right in without the nose, but it's all right. Got excited. You can go back to the nose. There's like, and this has been open for close to a year as well. Trying to get this one off the shelf, but I get definitely the cherry, um, caramel, vanilla, uh, something else there. I can't pick it up. But it tastes good. Go back in. The mouth coat's okay. Goes down the throat as a nice warmth, though. Um, wow. Yeah, definitely have the, the spices, cinnamon. I feel like there's some nutmeg there. I don't know. Some vanilla for sure. Cherry. Or, you know, I think we saw the cherry on the bottom bottle. Uh, so, the cherry definitely is prominent in this. I agree. You, you know, it's, it, it, it's always easier when you, you know uh, you to expect something. You can pick it out easier. But. Anyway, great job. I, you know, with this one, I will give this uh, definitely above average. Uh, I'll give it a, a three and a half stars. Cheers, everyone.